Hello, welcome to Bob's Dungeon. My name's Bob, I'll be your host. And as you can see, I'm out of the dungeon again, so I can look at another creepy place. And the place I'm going to look at today is called Owens Bend in Columbus, Indiana. And it's a public access site that's, at night, this place is pretty creepy. And you'll see. So let's go ahead and take a look around. And here we are at Owens Bend. Owens Bend is a public access site set aside mostly for fishing. There's this pond that's fed by the Flat Rock River. And you can come here and it's set up different spots for you to fish at. You can go around the pond if you want. Today there are some geese down here on the walkway. And that's kind of cool. I'm not going to disturb them. And in case you're wondering, there is a bridge nearby. Because we do seem to do a lot of bridges on the creepy places. Housing addition over there. A lot of houses. So the place is not that secluded. But during the summer when the trees are here, you can't see the houses that, that well. So it's sort of secluded, but not that secluded. And there's ample parking for you. Not very many people here right now because it's so cold. And like I said, you can go around in this pond and fish, whatever you do. And it's fed by the Flat Rock River. And we'll go over there and take a look at the boat loading area. And... Because the boat loading area here is strange, kind of neat. So let's go over there and take a look. And here is the boat loading area. And it's got this stone area that you can come out on and fish off of, I guess, if you want. But the water here is not very deep for a boat loading area. I mean, right now, over here, it's a little deep. But it just, you'd probably have to get out there pretty good to get your boat pretty, <laughs> pretty much in the water, I guess. But I don't really do it, so I can't say for certain. And this place, when there's leaves on the trees, is a lot creepier because you can't see the entrance from here when the leaves are on the trees. And it's pretty cool. I've actually thought a couple of times about maybe seeing if I could come out here and get a LARP going, but I never followed through with that. So there's that. And we're going to look at something interesting that I hadn't planned on. There, somebody has come out here at some point and set these three pumpkins on a log in the middle of nowhere at a public access site and that's just kind of weird I don't know why anybody would do that I don't know what the purpose for it is or if I just stumbled onto some kind of urban legend I've never heard of before but it is weird. These pumpkins are just sitting there on this log. I didn't put them there. I don't know why they're there. It's just weird. <laughs> so, this is as good a place as any to use the apps that I've been using. And I know the apps are kind of BS, but I enjoy using them. And I'm really curious about this. And maybe we'll pick something up. Who knows? So let's give it a try. And this is the Ghost Tube SLS. And what it does is if it picks something up, a person or an entity, it builds a wire frame so you can track their movements. Now, I haven't had much success with this one other than in a couple of cemeteries. So I'm not really looking to have much success here. But it is fun to try because you never know what you might pick up. And 
I figured it'd be neat to try it with those pumpkins because that's that's just got me. I, I wasn't expecting those to be there when I came out here. But I'm not getting anything, so let's go ahead and move on to the next app. This is the regular ghost tube app. And what it does is it picks up electric magnetic signals and supposedly allows you to talk to spirits. So we'll come over here by these pumpkins and see if we can pick up anything. Is there anybody here that would like to speak with me? You can tell me anything at all you want. I'm like cold. Cold? Yes, it is cold. Do you feel cold? Or are you just commenting that it's cold today? Because it is, in fact, cold today. Do you know why these pumpkins are here? Is there anything you want to tell me other than that you're cold? You can tell me whatever you want. I'm listening. Nothing? You got nothing? Okay, then I guess I'll leave you alone and move on. And that was Owen's Bend during the day. We'll come back out here at night, me and my niece. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and we'll take a look and see what the, how creepy this place is at night. One of the things that makes it really creepy is that there is a cemetery across the street. I wanted to show the cemetery, but there is some people in the cemetery right now having a service, and I really would rather not interrupt that. So we, we might... Go ahead and take a look at it at night maybe i don't know but we'll come back at night and see how creepy it is and so let's wait for it to get dark okay and here we are at night at owen's bend and you can hear the cars going there's the pond Here's the little walkway it goes around the pond and it's dark. What more can I say than it's dark? And it is really creepy. And the geese are still here. They're down there a bit. And yeah, shelter house. That you can picnic at has a little grill it's over there and this is the parking lot at night not a whole lot here it's basically a place to go fishing public access site to put your boat in the water so let's go over and look at the boat area and here we are at the boat loading area. Here's the concrete bit that you can go out on. Down here is the water. And there is a lot of traffic for this time of night. Why I don't know, maybe I missed something. But yeah, there's the water. Still kind of shallow. Don't want to wait out in that because it's pretty cold out and I don't want to catch pneumonia or something but let's go back here in the woods now and look at see if those pumpkins are still there and as you can see it is really dark I don't know if anything ever bad has it ever happened out here? But at night, it's pretty creepy. It'd probably be creepier if there wasn't so much traffic nearby. And there's the pumpkins. 
coming up. They are still there. Like I said, I don't know why these pumpkins are here. Have I stumbled onto something that I'm not getting? Don't know. It's just kind of weird them being here like that. I didn't put them here. I don't know who did. It's just odd. But it's probably something just really stupid. So let's go ahead and use the apps I got at this spot again. See if we can pick up anything this time. Here is the Ghost Tube SLS. Let's see if we can build a wire frame with it. Now I have never had success with this app at night, ever. And the only success I've ever had has been in a graveyard. But as to be expected, I'm not picking up anything. Pointing at the pumpkins again. See if they get up and dance around. Which they are not. So, let's move on to the next app. And this is the regular ghost tube app. And let's see, it, earlier when we used it, it said cold. And yeah, it's pretty cold out, but didn't say anything else. So let's see if we can get anything now. Is there anybody here that would like to speak with me? Two. Two. Yes, there are two of us here. Me and my niece. Is there anything else you'd like? You're pretty observant, I've noticed. Earlier, you told us it was cold when it was cold. And now you've said there's two of us. Me and my niece. Is there anything else you would like to tell us? Anything else you want to observe? Do you like being at this spot? It's pretty nice out here. Anything at all you want to tell me is perfectly fine by me. Because I'll listen to you. Nothing? You don't want to say anything else? Okay, then I will leave you alone and you can have a good night. And now, as kind of an extra little bonus, we're in the cemetery at night. And this cemetery, unlike the others I've been in, is brightly lit. And that would make this the most brightly lit nighttime shot I've ever done. I was unable to get in here during the day. There was a, some kind of service going on and I really didn't want to disrespect anybody by coming in here and filming while they were doing their services. And it's probably going to be some time before I get back this way. So I have to do, do this again sometime so I can get daytime shots. But it's nice all the same. Did you see that? No. I thought I saw a squirrel. I could be wrong. No. And that's pretty much it. The cemetery is still very much used and there's still some open space in it. And Yeah. Uh -huh. My niece just found a grave with the pumpkin on it. 
Somebody probably put that there for Halloween, hon. But anyway, let's while we're in the cemetery at night, let's go ahead and use the apps I've been using. See if I can come up with anything in the graveyard at night. And this is the ghost tube. SLS and the cemetery at Owens Bend in Columbus, Indiana at night. And I don't think I'll find anything on this because I never have success with this at night. But you never know because the only times I've ever had success with this app has been and cemeteries and I am just not getting anything so we will move on to the other app and Anthony Anthony Anthony, right, right off the bat something spoke to me who is Anthony are you buried here Anthony, are you Anthony? Keep getting some spiking a little bit. Not heavy, but a little. Is anybody here that would like to speak with me? You can tell me anything you want. You already said Anthony. Does An the name Anthony mean anything? Are you Anthony? Do you think I am Anthony? You can say anything you want to say to me. Anything at all. I am listening. You can tell me anything at all. You got nothing else to say to me? Who is Anthony? Can you tell me who Anthony is? Was Anthony important? Okay. Then we will leave you in peace then. Have a good night. And that was my look at Owens Bend in Columbus, Indiana. It is very creepy there. It's just a place set aside to go fishing, put boats in the water. But at night, as you can see, it is very creepy, and the fact that there is a cemetery right across the street just kind of adds to that. Not sure what was going on with the one out over there by the pumpkins. I, everywhere I used it, I just got a one-word response. And over there by the pumpkins, it said cold during the day, and it was cold. And then at night, it said two, and there were two of us. It was me and my niece out there. And then over in the graveyard, it said Anthony, and I have no idea what that was all about. So who knows? Maybe, maybe something. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, all in all, it's a pretty neat place. If you're ever over there, it would be nice to check out. It's got a little picnic area. And I always thought it'd be a neat place to do some LARPing, maybe. But that's just me. So thank you. Thank you for joining me at a look at this creepy place, and hopefully you'll join me next time where we'll talk about something else. Bye.